Hi guys, welcome back to now what, what, what my kids are getting for Halloween buckets video, uh, or in their Halloween buckets. I did part one and part two, I think about a couple days ago, so you guys can go check that one out, or those ones out. Anyway, let's just get started. Sorry about my my, my disgusting uh, toenails, just FYI. We have this Curious Origin Friends book. My nine-year-old, he likes Curious George, but to an extent. Um, he is obsessed with, like, all the characters, like, like, like see this, this, this uh, trivia book right here? That trivia book right there? He isn't into, like, actually, like, every single story in this book, in the Curious George book being Curious George. So, I got him this one. Uh, it's like, it, it has one story of Curious George, and then... And then it has different stories of his friends. And one of his friends is named Pretzel. So not all these stories are based from Cure George. The only one that's, that actually has Cure George like in it, in it, I think, is the... That one right there. The, 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 the other ones are his friends. So I thought that his treasury could be this one. And then my daughter could get the other two treasuries that or whatever. And then he'll be getting another treasury as well. So I got this one for him, and he likes animals. He likes animals just like just, 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 just like my daughter. So bunnies, Cure George the monkey, I think some elephants, goose, rabbit, giraffe, a wiener dog, a polar bear, a otter, penguins, and kangaroo. So. He likes animals and stuff like that, so I decided to get him that one. Something that my daughter did request is the is the underwater babies book. Now hold on, I have to go put my sock on real quick. <laughs> my feet juicy. Ah, uh, uh, Mama, my feet was was juicy. Uh huh. <laughs> my what? Feet? Because they were uh, in the uh, in the camera frame. <laughs> Still, it's like. Yeah, but also they they were sweaty, so yeah, that I, I had to put a sock on. But because my 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 other foot had a sock on it. Yeah. Underwater babies book, author of the National ba Baby no wait, best seller underwater puppies. So she has the pet the uh, puppies one. So I got her underwater babies, and she just likes looking at photographs of actual babies. So I got her this. I think she's like looking at the pictures. Oh yeah, mind you, if I have not said said this yet, I have a ten year old girl and a nine year old boy. So my nine year old boy is getting that that treasury character George that I just showed you right up here, and then my daughter's getting this one who's ten. Mm. And next one they have. Both my kids are obsessed with treasuries. They love Brantine Bears, they both love Little Critter, they both love Curious George. So the next one I I had to get my 10 year old was the Curious George, not the Curious George, the Nature Guide by Brantine Bears. This book has been passed around since ages. My 23 year old daughter used to have it, then it got passed down to my, no, my, my, my 24 year old daughter used to have it, then it got passed down to my, to my 20 year old, no, my 22 year old son. And then it was my nine-year-old, I mean, my, my, my nine-year-old boys when he was eight, and now it's my ten-year-olds. So it's been, it's been through, through some wear and tear. I think I'm also going, go, um, getting them the uh, almanac as well, but I can't find that. But, yeah, it just, it's just like, it's just a different type, type of book, and I love how it explains...
So, got that. It's everything small bears and kids need to know about the wonderful road of nature. And they love Rising Bear books anyway, so I'm trying to get them for any holiday that appears. Next, my son loves anything that has, to, that has to do with sea creatures, and he loves the zoology stuff. So I got him so many creatures of the fifth sea. Don't know what it's about, but I thought he would like it. It was five dollars. To go along with the birthday bear theme, we have oh, a belch. <laughs> The Brinsley Bear's Big Bedtime Book. You know what? To make this easier on your on your guys, so I won't have to just pull out every book. I'm gonna take out the books so that I can actually easily put them back in there. Putting them on them on the floor slow so that I don't have to reach back in the cubby hole and get them in every single time I put, I put my camera down. This is the Bernstein Bears Big Bedtime Book. They've been they've been requesting this one for ages. I mean ages. Um, it's the Bernstein Bear Treasury. So instead of your like, so instead of your like normal Treasury books, it is it has five one. It has six different types of stories that 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 they love. My ten year old loves the different like she loves like the, like different fairy tales. So this one is mixed with the with the favorite fairy tales, but plus a treasury. My daughter is obsessed with with, with treasuries. I mean my nine year old will do. My nine year old boy likes them too, but I think my ten year old is obsessed with them. So we have three little cubs and the big bad pig, three goy goldy bear and the three people, the gingerbread bear, the three Billy goats gruff meet the bog brothers. The, the, the Little Red Hen and Little Red Grizzly Hood. So, just a really, it's just a really nice book. And it just goes through different stories of different fairy tales. And my kids love fairy tales. Or, the, or, or at least my daughter does. Not, not sure about my son. So, I got the Big Bedtime book for my daughter. Because we, I know she loves fairy tales. And this is two things she likes. Fairy tales and treasuries. No, it's three things she likes. Fairy tales, treasuries, and bear and sneak bears. All packed in this one thing. Well, well, what could be better? Next, my daughter loves the... What? Question and answers books, right? Mm -hmm. So I got her two. She already has the other ones, but I wanted to get her two she doesn't have. The science and space, and she loves anything that has to do with, with science and space. So this is like these are the, the these are actually really 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 nice books. But see, it has it gives you a question and then it tells you the answer. So I got her the space and science one and just like goes into into, into detail. But she loves anything that has to do with with learning about science and space. So I got her the space and I got her the science. She likes anything that has to do with like learning. She's my she loves to learn. My son will get out of learning however way he can. He hates learning. So I mean hates learning. Um, but yeah, I got science and science and space book for my ten year old, and I'm pretty sure she'll love them because she wants to. I just think she thinks she likes them. She has the animal one and a couple others, but I got her the science and the space one for her collection. And we're and, and, and we're still trying to actually come uh, find a couple find a couple more because if you think about it, right. This is my video. My daughter. I think we have, I think we found those at Dollar Tree, but I'm I'm not quite sure. Next, she loves the camp she loves anything that she likes spooky books, scary books, anything that has to do with like scary ghost things she likes. So I got this campfire stories, things that go bump in the night, and I think she'll love to read this on like weekends in her room alone in the dark. So weird. What? So strange. What? But yeah, things that go bump up in that she loves anything that's scary. Even though yes, she is ten. I mean, her her brother does too. But if you guys see, he's not he's 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 not getting as me as as much stuff as my daughter is because my daughter 
I kind of like her more. <laughs> I'm savage, but but I mean, I mean, mainly because right, my son had a birthday in like April or May, so that's so that's why he's not getting getting a lot of stuff. But my ten year old girl is. I mean, she also she also had a birthday close close around then also. But anyway, I like to spoil her more because my because my ten year old I mean nine year old boy already has more already has stuff. Then I got the. In our Kyoto Treasury, this one is going to be for, for my son. This has eight stories included, and it has it's just different stories. So it has all these different stories. And it, and I love Kyoto George, so I got them. Actually, no, this one will be for my 10-year-old girl because she likes her treasuries. So, yeah. I mean, it has the dinosaur, which I'm pretty sure my son will like, but all the stuff my daughter's into. So she's getting a lot of the of the treasury books. My, my son is getting How They Met Kyoto George and also this... This uh, friends one up here. This uh, this uh, friends. That one. Oh. So yeah, she likes my, she she likes her treasuries. So I got her now. I'm sorry with with eight stories in it, and I think she'll love this. See how nicely illustrated these these three yards these stories are. She loves Kira George, like loves Kira George, and these are, and this is just a book of treasury. She loves tre uh, tre treasury anything that has to do with Kira George, so I got her another treasury. <laughs> but yeah, she's getting a lot of the a lot of the uh, tre the uh, treasury books except for the, that one. I got the ancient world book for my daughter because actually, who should who, who should give the, the uh, this one to? Ten-year-old girl or, or nine-year-old boy? This ancient world. The boy. So I'm going to give this one to my boy, my nine-year-old son, just because he's more into history and like and, and like learning about what like ancient world. Boyish. Boyish. So this is the Esborn books, internet linked ancient world. This book I thought would be real, would be really cool, mainly because. Just like it goes with like Egypt type stuff, tombs, all that stuff. Like all the different like pyramids and mummies, just just like all like ancient stuff. He he's like he's into that type of stuff. He he likes learning about like ancient stuff and wars and all that. So I did get him this one. My daughter isn't in, isn't into that, and we get quite and we're getting quite a few of these uh, Esbern books anyway because they love them so dang much. So this is one of them. Um, for my son. Now, and now, and now, what we have for my son is this one. This one is the Space Explorer's Guide to the Universe. No, actually, wait. Should I give this one to my son or my daughter? It's a space one. It's the space explorer's guide to the to the universe. Son. So this they're the they're looking a space one. My son is going to be getting this universe space one. He likes to actually learn about space. When I, I might have said he doesn't, but he actually does. He does actually like like learning about space. This book is really, really, really cool. It tells them about different stars and the planets and what constellation is and what um, the small malignant cloud is, and if, and you get flashbacks. So I think my son will will really like this. And you get like little day, a days, days. Uh, your body of knowledge, cosmic calendar. So I wanted them to both have a space related type book. So that one will be for my son. Again, it's by Scholastic. We love Scholastic books. So there's his. And this is my daughter's space one, if you guys are, are wondering. They, they, they both gang a, gang a space type book. My son's getting a universe one, and then my daughter's getting a question and answers one. 
and just like they're getting both one of these treasury type books because it's they have to have something similar there but they're, they're both getting Curious George books if they don't they fight they fight and they fight let me tell you that right Next we have Bethlehem Bull. Bathlehem Mule. Bathlehem Mule. And then Ooblet. They love their, their Dr. Seuss books. And since my daughter is getting the Hat Full of Seuss, and the Hat Full of Seuss actually includes this story in it right there. Um, I'm getting my son this one. My son does enjoy Dr. Seuss books, and I want and I want him to get Dr. Seuss books because really does he actually get get Dr. Seuss books? So I got him this one, and he likes slime and anything green. And, he, and it's actually been a while since he's actually got anything that is Dr. Seuss. So I want to get him his own book and make him feel special. So I got him this one because my daughter is getting that in the in, in the treasury book of Dr. Seuss. Next, we have these two books. When I was little, my da my daughter, she's now in what grade? Fourth grade, and she actually read this in kindergarten, and she fell in love with it. I'm not sure if she'll rem rem remember this now, now that she's in fourth grade, but I want to get her as a little remembrance. I'll probably have her put it on a shelf or something, and then like read it once and then put it on a shelf too, so that her brother can't get to it because she loved this book in kindergarten. So I want to get her it again for Halloween. Like, she loved this book. Like, I mean, loved it. So, I got her when I was little. And then my son, they're, they're, they're both going, going to be getting a Bugs book. So, my son's bug book is Bugs. I, I want them to both, I want to both give them a age-appropriate, a age-appropriate book about bugs that they that they could uh, that, that that they could understand. So, got this bugs book. And it's more not that hard for my son to understand. It's by Reading Rainbow. So it says, "What bug bit Therma, Th Th Thelma on the thigh? A horse fly." <laughs> And then it just kind of shows you what a horse fly looks like, their parts, and what they do, and this and that. Who's shout? Who's shoral sound? Wake and a a cicada. So, and then if it's hard for you to hear, pronounce it kind of it kind of breaks down cicada. So. My son, I, I want him to have an age-appropriate one without it being like too ma like mature, grown-up-ish. So I got him this this perfect one. I like how it has a little thing, like like not a prompt, but like a little like a tongue twister over here, and then it kind of tells you the bug, the parts of the bug, and then what the bug is, or like blah blah. So yeah. Uh, what bug? What bug made Nick's dog sick? A tick. So, and then and, and then and then they also give you the scientific name of the bug. Of the bug is it a bug, yeah, bug. So yes, I didn't I, I didn't want one that was too grown upish that he couldn't read and get scared by because my kids hate bugs, but also one that he would like. So I wanted to give him this one. This one looks pretty cool. It's age appropriate. It's not that too complex for 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 him to read. Both my kids. Started reading when they were one years old. Can you can you believe that one years old? That's pretty uh, shocking. So yeah. So got bugs. I got this one for my son, and I can't. I don't know where the other one is for my daughter. I might find it here soon. But yes, I got that one for my son. Bugs. I want that he'll like because they she hate. I mean they hate bugs. Uh, I mean he hates bugs. My, my daughter loves spiders. I mean, loves spiders. So, I think for Labor Day, I think it was either Labor Day or her birthday or something like that, I got her a, bu a Bugs book. 
and also a spider book because she likes spiders. Next is my son. If you guys saw the other video when I showed you guys this row of books, they're, they're, they're both going to be one of these Richard Scary Busy Busy World or Busy Busy Town. My son is getting Busy Busy Town and my daughter is getting Busy Busy World. And they love Richard Scary books, don't, don't get me wrong. But my son, the words in them are kind of, what, like too complex, right? So I got him a first book. It says, best read it yourself book ever. So that once he masters this book, he can kind of move on to the, to, to the Busy Busy Town. Because my daughter started reading when she was, get this, seven months old. She started reading. No, five months. My son didn't start until he was was a year old, though. Um, so yes, he he he's kind of. I mean, he's he is far, far farther ahead, but farther ahead does not mean he can read more. She can read more than more than him, even though he's even though she started reading at five months. So a collection of twelve easy to read stories, and what's cool about this book is that it has really cool, like see like. It's stuff that that he can sound out, and it's and it's easy for him to actually like see. And the pictures are bright and bold. And it's it's nothing like like hard. So I want to get I want to get this one as a little like cool starter for him. Plus he loves Richard Scary. Even even though he can't read books pretty well, he he does need help on some. So I got him Richard Scary's best read it yourself book ever. Um, Richard Scary was was born in 1990. He was? No, 1919, I think. Are you serious? Yep. Next, they love Doctor Seuss. So they got another. So both of them, I'm getting a, a Doctor Seuss book for. They love Doctor Seuss. So when it comes to picking out Dr. Seuss books, it's kind of hard. So... Five hundred, five hundred hats. And the little seed and, and other stories. My daughter, she likes this stuff, this type of stuff. This has, I think, like one, two, maybe three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six stories. I'm not totally sure, but this is hers. And this is my son's. Actually, no. I'm going to both. Should I give these both, both, both my daughter or one to my daughter and then son? You think so? So, this one will be for my daughter cause she, because she likes treasury stuff. And that has like like that, that that has different stories in it. And then this one is the five hundred hats one. So this will be for and this is the seventy fifth anniversary. It is, is that a boy or a girl? So yes, that's for my nine year old son. This is for my ten year old girl. They love Dr. Seuss, trust me, they love Dr. Seuss. Next is this is the only, this is the only art character George book that my son likes, besides the character George and Friends Treasury that that he'll be getting. He loves how the man with the yellow hat met Kier George and how Kier George met the man with the uh, yellow hat. So to make his dreams come true. I got. Oh. So. This is the the original Cure's George. This is this is like how they met type book. This is how my this is the type that my nine year old likes to read. So, got him his favorite, even though he's read that like eighteen times now. Like, it's like if he wants a character book, that's that's one he wants. I got 
my son a Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer book. So I got him this one. It's by a golden book. And it, and they both like their like their old fashioned time books. So I got him a Rudolph the Reynolds Reindeer one. If you guys have have have, 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 been, have been seeing my recent videos, what I try and do for my kids is, is I try and get them videos for the next holidays so that, so that we already have them. So like for example, it's almost Halloween in October. So for example, two months will be December. So I have so I'm already getting Christmas books for them and stuff like that. So I just kind of pre pre plan for like the next couple of holidays in advance. <laughs> next we have this book. My daughter is obsessed with fables. Don't don't know what it is, but I think when she was in third grade, second grade, she used to read fables a ton. That's what I'm hearing from from her. So I got a book of fables. <laughs> It's animal fables. She only reads animal fables, mind you. My son won't eat, won't, well, won't eat. He won't read any type of fable. But my daughter, only fable that, that she's interested in, animal fables. Don't even get her strung out on any other type of fable besides animal fable. Or else she won't read any other type of fable besides animal fables. So, even in, like, like the grid, that's, that, that's the only thing that she used to watch, not, not, not watch, read, was animal fables. So, next one... Yes. Um, and the next one we have is a big treasury of little animals. So, this is this, this has six stories. It says a bunny, a chick, dog, cat, pig, and lamb. We have all the, all, all these books individually, but I didn't realize that, so I bought this treasury. This will be for my ten year old girl. That she loves bunnies. She loves ducks. She loves dogs. She loves pigs. She loves love. She likes lambs and pigs and cats and all that. So this is just a big treasury of, it's by Feeberry Dunn, and it just has, it, ha, it has all these stories. We already have all these stories individually, but, um, but I didn't realize that, so I got a treasury, which will be for my, for my 10 year old, I mean, yeah, 10 year old. She likes ducks, she, she, and like, and kittens, and lambs, and pigs, and puppies, and rabbits. She, she likes all that. So, this, should, this treasury will, will be for her, because she loves her animals, and if it's an animal treasury, you bet my 10 year old girl is going to be loving it ah uh, next is a draft book my son is getting a draft book so he's getting a draft and a half so I want my daughter to get a draft book as well because some things they'll fight over if they see one has it and the other one does not. So for my daughter, I got her something similar, but it's more cooler for my 10 year old girlish age. It, it's a flip flop book. So the draft that wore a necklace, it has a read please read along CD. And on the other side is Mr. Draft Bowtie and Long Gold Chain. So, so this is basically a two-in-one draft story. And my daughter will flip because she loves drafts. She didn't use to, but now she loves drafts. So I got her a draft book. And is the CD still in there? Yes, the CD is still in there. So got that for her because she loves her drafts. But I both wanted them not to have a draft book because my son was you, you, you just be the only one who likes drafts. But now my daughter likes drafts, so I got her a draft book. <laughs> uh, next one we have is the English Roses. Now you're probably wondering what. Now she read the mini book of this in, in kindergarten and fell in love, and in, and in second grade and third. But she's now in fourth, and my ten year old, I mean nine year old, he's he's in third. My my nine year old boy, he's in third grade, and my ten year old's in fourth grade. Wow, that's confusing. <laughs> so, I got her the full, like, actual full book of The English Roses. She loved this book whenever she used to read it in, like, kindergarten, first, second grade. So, I read, so I picked it up for her, only the full-size version. The other one was, like, mini, which I think is, like, this, like, that, like, this, that, that, or something like that. So, I got her the full, big, hunkin' version. Just it basically it's just about how these girls 
are it's, it, it's like a friend like it's like a friend group of girls and they and all chat and this and that and she loves it because it's a girly book of course then for my son i got him a, a dr seuss book because i don't want him to feel left out even, even though he, he is getting the 500 hats book i want him to get another one my i got him yodel the turtle he loves turtles and he used to read your the turtle book back in like kindergarten also so i no pre-k So I got Yoro the Troll. This has three stories in it. And I think he will... Oh, how did that even happen? Okay, there we go. I got a Yoro the Turtle book. I think he'll love this. He loves Yoro the, Yoro the Turtle. And they both love books by Dr. Seuss. Okay, so this Now, another thing we have is... Berenstein Bears. My kids flip over Berenstein Bears. So, I got my 10 year old the 5 minute bedtime, 5 minute inspirational stories. And this just has tons of, tons, tons, tons of different ones. It has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. This has 12 stories in it. And all these 12 we, have, we actually don't have besides a couple. So, I'm actually really happy that I got this for her. And I think she'll really, really, really enjoy this. And it's a, it has one of, one, one of those like puffy co covers, which she felt like, like loves. So, I got her. The inspirational store, the five minute Bernstein Bear inspirational stories. Then the last one I have in this shelf for my eight-year-old boy. He's really into famous Americans and learning about different people, different famous Americans who are famous or, or, or were famous. So I got the, my first book of famous Americans. I asked my daughter if she would like this, and she said no. But I know who would like this, my son. So I got him my, my famous Americans book. And this just has like tons of different famous Americans. And that's if it gives them, it gives you the a did you know fact, and then it gives you born, birthplace, famous as a extra fact. So, got that for her. I mean, for him, because he's into famous Americans. I don't think my, I asked my daughter, remember guys, and you guys might, might, might be asking, why don't you, why don't you give Give, give that to your, to, your daughter, to, to your daughter. Your daughter would love that. I asked her, and she said no. But I know my my son would like it, so I gave it to my son. Then the next one we have is this one. Then we have the Family Christmas Treasury Book. This is one for my daughter. This one is one for my daughter. My daughter is going to flip. She likes Good George, but she does not realize that I got her that she's going to absolutely freaking flip when I show her this. It's the Family Christmas Treasury. And oh my gosh, I cannot wait for her reaction. It has a CD with it. And it has all these stories in it, and she's 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 gonna love to read one one of these every night before bed. It's a merry and the first one is a Merry Christmas, Curious George. So I won't make her read every single one in order. If she doesn't want to, she can read them out like out of order. Like if she wants to spec like start with I don't know, twas twas the night before Christmas. She can start with that one. She 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 doesn't have to go in order from. The Christmas George down to Silent Night. She can pick anything she wants. And I think, if I'm thinking correctly, these books are really good illustrated and they might actually have some, mu some music tunes in there. Let me see real quick. Are there any, are there any, see, 
she has the paperback of the Curious George one. Okay, yes. Um, she has the actual paperback of Merry Christmas, Curious George, but she'll be happy to have, happy to see that it is actually in this treasury. I mean, both her and her and her, her, her brother have it, a, the paperback of the uh, Curious George one. Anyway, it has songs in here, and she will love to sing these songs. Um, with her with her brother, whenever we go, um, whenever we go to look at lights in the in the neighborhood, she will love to just sing these songs. So the ones that the ones that are are highlighted like this, like this, with like the big bold. Like a uh, like a lettering are stories, except for this one. This one is the authors and the illustrators. So all these black ones right here, these are the songs. So all these right here, these are all of the songs that are black, and then the ones that are that are like different colors, like green, blue, red, like red, green, blue. Those are stories, except for the for this one. This is the authors and the illustrators. So yes, she can read a story before bed. And then we can do a because we like to look at to look at Christmas lights and drive around like I don't know like maybe like every couple nights we will we will drive around and look at lights so we can just so the so the so they can sing these in the back and also what's cool about this is Mary um is that um so they have one two three four five five, six, seven, eight. So eight stories she can read for eight days of Christmas, every day, every day of Christmas. If she wants to, she can even like come back and read them during like Christmas, like like during the, um, like during the, the different days leading up to Christmas, she can come back and read these stories if she wants to. And, it, and, and she can even come back and, and reverse the songs if she wants to, so. I think she'll love this. She actually has the individual paperback copy of Merry, Christ Merry Christmas, Gear George, but I think she'll be happy to actually see that it's in her treasury. So I had to get, I had to get to take this for her. Her brother will be jealous that I got this for her and not for him, but hey, whatever. So the family Christmas treasury, and they are going to be so freaking stoked. Like, hello, like, I knew it. I knew that that would be one they are going to flip about. <laughs> I can really build. Yeah, she'll be she'll be super happy to actually get that one. And then I got them these. My daughter is obsessed, obsessed with Where's Waldo. I know some are like in the uh, UK. I think they call it Where's Willie or something like, or like something like that. I'm not totally sure, but here in the states. We call it Where's Waldo, or at least I do. And oh my gosh, do my 10 and 9 year old love these books. They love to search for Waldo every single night, and it makes me so irritated that I want to blow my brains out. But, what? What? But, she likes them. So, okay. Where's Waldo? And so I got her quite a few. Where's Waldo in Hollywood? She actually requested these. Where's Waldo? Where's Waldo in Crow Paper Chase, which her, which I sent with. I actually have two of. I brought, I bought two of. So this one will be since since it's paperback. It will be for her. Her brother. Where is Waldo now? This one, the other one is for, so, so since there's two, this one will be for her eight-year-old brother, I mean nine-year-old brother, and the other one will be for her, my 10-year-old. I got Wonder Book. Where's Waldo, the Wonder Book. Where's, where's Waldo, the Fantastic Journey. 
Where's Wall is a great picture hunt. She loves Where's Waldo. Now this cost me about 10 bucks just for all these books. And then I got another pair of pictures. This one is the hardcover of it. So this one will be for my 10 year old girl. But I'm pretty sure they'll, they will swap back and forth. But they love Where's Waldo. So I got book four, book one, book seven, book two, book one, book five, book three, book six. And that's it. So I got two of the book ones and I got two of the book sevens. So she'll be happy that I got all these. Now, if you guys are wondering what we use, because obviously this would not fit all in a bucket. We use what I call paper or not paper bags gift bags and we buy two two for each kid be, kid because obviously we have books and if and of and of course the book the gift bags that we buy don't really last that long so we usually have to end up buying two of them for each kid because we have some we have, have all books and the heavier, heavier the book the more heavy the bag weighs so that we have to bring them out for the kids and the bag breaks and yeah anyway now my kids are obsessed with this Disney Run for World of Knowledge. I introduced, I introduced them, them to this because I used to actually read these as a kid. So I got the nature and the nature one and I believe also the animal one for my daughter. And oh my gosh, do I love this. I got, I got volume one and two for her and she's going to flip. She likes anything that has to do with both nature and animals. So I just think she's going to flip about this. I think she'll just flip. So I got her that one of the nature. And then I also got my, my son, the 100 greatest movies of all time. This one is really, 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 this is the the 100 greatest movies of all time. So we can pick out a movie from here every night. My son can, and we will watch whatever movie he picks out. So yes, I just thought this this would be amazing. Then my daughter is obsessed with this Christmas countdown Hallmark book. Um, so I actually got it last Christmas for her, but I'm actually giving it to her for this. Halloween. Um, and her 24 year old sister has this as well. So it's the Hallmark book, and it basically has Small Town, Something Spirit, The Ultimate Viewing Party, it has tons and tons of different festive cookie recipes, behind the scenes secrets, magical holiday traditions, and then September Furry Friends. So she wanted this so for so, so, so so freaking long so i finally got it for her another thing they are my 10 year old is obsessed with the children's first library of learning books so when we, when we get to my um when we get to my um excuse me when we get to my daughter's because i actually got something for my daughter my daughter got Adventures in Everyday Life. So I got her two, but I also got my son two. So they, both my both my son and the Amidar, my daughter and my son, they both love the children's first, first library of learning. So my, so I got my son two different ones. 
that I'm both getting, getting, getting them two, two different ones. My son is really into eco, e, ecology, eco, ecology, ecology, and seeing all the cool things of about uh, ecology. And this is like it's like really cool. It has like it's not in like a boring way. It has facts they can read about. The pictures are really actually entertaining and intriguing. Give some questions and the answers to answer. So I got my son the ecology because he's really into ecology stuff. And then he's also really into ge geography. My my daughter hates geography, but my son loves geography. So I got him a, ge a geography because he loves to learn about geography. So I just so I just got him a book of ge geography. And you guys will see the other ones that I got for my daughter as well in a, in a little bit. Then I got my daughter this one. Now, I don't think she'll she'll really be intrigued by this one, so I'm not, so I actually might give this to my 24 year old daughter. But it's the Humans of New York. Even even if she doesn't take it, I might just actually keep it keep it for myself. But that one I got for my daughter. She might not even like it. I got the Night Gardener for my daughter. She read this in kindergarten and fell in love with it. They or my daughter is obsessed with drawing. She's also getting two of the girls' doodle books. So I got my son the graffiti doodle mess up a masterpiece book so that he doesn't feel left out because my daughter is getting two of the doodle books for girls so I'm getting my son one so that he can draw in graffiti and whatever he wants to himself then my daughter is getting the Atlas of Stars and Planets book just because she's really into learning about stars and planets so I thought why not get her this one and since she's more older, I thought that she could understand this one more via via where my son is more younger and he probably wouldn't have no care in the world. That's why he's getting the, uh, the uh, universe book. Another book that I'm getting for my daughter is the, is the Cure George Five Minute Stories. Now this was my, this was my son's first book that he ever got and he still ha has his that he first got. So. The illustrations are amazing. I love them. And it has the puff the puff cover as well. So that's another one for my daughter because my son has it, so I wanted to get it for my daughter because my Every day, my, my nine-year-old boy, he rages about how much he loves it, so I want to get it for my daughter as well. Then I got a Justin Bieber book. Now, my eight-year-old, I mean nine-year-old son is obsessed with Justin Bieber. My my ten-year-old girl and my 24-year-old girl, they both love Taylor Swift. But my boys, my nine-year-old boy and my 22-year-old boy, they both love Justin Bieber. So... I got this one for my eight-year-old boy. No, nine-year-old boy. Excuse me. And then... Uh, 
So I got the my polar paws. They want to be to they they want to go to Alaska so dang bad. But I won't let them go to Alaska. Cuz it's because it's freezing cold up there. So it's my polar paws and it's just it's a, it's just a, it's just a really 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 cool book. It's just a, it has different Alaska animals in it and they love Alaska. They love Alaska. And they love the animals up there, so I got this for my 10-year-old girl to just look at the animals and admire them because we're never going to Alaska, period. Um, then the R3 that three is the Bears Almanac. This is most everything that bears and kids need to know about almost everything. By Jane Stain Bearstein. And the other one, which is right where, where's the other uh, almanac? Oh, right here, the, the, this, one, this one is the, uh, not oh, no, Nature Guide. I'm getting this one again for my for my 10-year-old girl. She's seeing the almanac in the Nature Guide, but this is what it looks like. Okay, so when so see it goes to like the through so like the different stages. So there's winter. There's yeah, it, it, it gives you actual facts about snow. This is the one that I was trying to actually uh, look for. Uh, some of the things winter brings. This is that it's February, so, the, so that's Valentine's Day. So that's in the spring. Uh, April Fool's Day, so that's April. Actual facts about wind. Actual facts about rain. Some of the, some of the things spring brings. This is summer. Oh, and it actually tells you right here. It tells you if you if if, if we go back. It tells you um what um. Yeah. So it gives you the holidays, the seasons, and the weather. And you get actual facts about snow, wind, rain, thunder, lightning, and the sun, the moon, and lots more. So, so for example, right? Like, look. January is the new year. And then winter. So winter is January, February, March. So winter is January, February, March. The, the, uh, okay, so first three months of the year are winter so january february march and then it tells you actual facts about winter a blizzard snowflakes come some of the things that winter brings in february on valentine so february is valentine's day and then the spring is april may june April is April Fool's Day, so it goes through the holidays, the storms, all that good stuff. And then how you want to, you know, you'll not spring. April is April Fool's Day. How you know it's spring? And it says, great. Natural, great nature bear comes out of his la of his lair. All right, spring, and then April's April Fool's Day. It says flying a kite. Actual facts about wind, breeze, a tornado. Uh, actual facts about rain, a rainbow. 
some of the things spring brings. Summer. So summer is July, August, September. It's summer. And then the fourth is, and then July we have the fourth. So that's Independence Day, but it's, it's, it's also known as Independence Day. Summer things. Summer brings sun and fun. Actual facts about thunder and lightning. So, so and so, so I'll give you facts about actual th about thunder and lightning. Something to remember. Summer. See, see, mama. Sun, sun to rem to remember summer ends in September. It does. The next one ends this week. So the next thing we have is fall. So we're basically about to be in fall. So fall is October, November, and December, guys. Then October ends with, with Halloween time for, for trick-or-treating. We go out in funky clothes and go get things to eat. And then there's Thanksgiving with all the fun food that we get every, uh, for Thanksgiving. And then, and then there's the actual things about the moon. So full moon, crescent moon, no moon if you go out. And, this, and then this is Christmas, so it kind of tells you Christmas and... And then December 31st, it's, it's a New Year's Eve, a whole year ends, tomorrow we'll start a new year, friends. So now we can all turn back to, to the beginning of our almanac. So see, it kind of dates, so you can, so actually what's, well, what's cool about this, about the almanac, is that you can, um, use this for every, um, for every, Season and then you, and it kind of, it kind of helps you watch you well, what you can do in that season what what holidays co coming up blah, blah blah. Next we have Disney, Wonderful World of Knowledge Disney. This is the animal one. I got this one also for my daughter because it's volume one and it's animal. She loves animals. Next one we have is the big cat's close up. My my daughter loves loves cats, so I got a cat one. Plus on plus on the other, the other back, it's elephant, so it just has a big close up of elephants. And then. And that time to flip to the other side. It's for cats. So I think that'll be that'll be real cool. My daughter likes cats and she likes dolphins. The photographer's iPad. Glass from a dog because she actually is starting to actually take take photos of more things and she wants to actually like So uh take photos of uh some things. So um it says the photographer's the iPad. 
basically what's cool, what's cool about this thing is that um, my daughter is starting to actually get into um, like photographing and wanting to when actually take take pictures of stuff. So, um, what's cool about this one is that says my photographer's iPad, and uh, I think my daughter will will really, really, will actually really enjoy this one. It says a photographer's iPad. She's starting to actually take really cool pictures, and wanting to edit them and all that good stuff. So I got her her own little pad book about how to how to start how to start taking good good photos in it. <laughs> And start editing them. Next we have, this is Paris. My daughter wants to go to Paris. I was in Paris a while, a while ago and she flipped because she loved Paris so much. So I got her this book to kind of like learn what Paris is and what Paris is all about. <laughs> so I got her this. A children's classic it says. Then my daughter is obsessed with, with dogs, just like my nine-year-old son is. So, I got dogs. A portrait of the animal world book. And my daughter is obsessed with dogs. Like I mean, obsessed with dogs. So I got her a dog book. I mean, she's she said, "Mom, I I want a dog book." I'm, I'm like, you have like 80 dog, dog books. I, 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 I'm not drawing 80. She, and, and, and she's like, but they're all kiddish. I don't want, I, I, I want to work growing up with dog books. And I'm like, okay, chill it out. So I got her her own dog book. It says like, this has like, like actual cool photos of dogs. With, uh, with illustration, with all that. So I think she'll really enjoy this one. And this was, this was, this is probably, probably one of her big gifts because um, I think she'll really enjoy it. So yeah, just really nice, really nice dogs. So I got her her own dog book because she's been saying to me, Mom, I want a dog book. I'm like, you have a dog book, but she's like, it's not like, like authentic dog book. At first glance, it looks to be a bird. But it's actually a dog. Like, look, look, like authentic dog book. So I'm like, okay, where are you? Where are you with authentic dog book? So I got her own dog book. Then I got her, I mean, I got her, her brother, her nine-year-old brother, Justin Bieber, because she's obsessed with Justin Bieber. I mean, he's obsessed with, 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 with Justin Bieber. My, uh, not my nine-year-old boy. Then I got my daughter and her, and her brother, the American Ninja Warrior. They love to watch this show, or used to watch this show, and they used to flip because they love, 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 love the show. So, I got her the American Ninja Warrior magazine. She'll love to look at the, look at the pictures. It was only ninety five cents. And all that stuff. It gives you fun facts about the about the people who were on the show, and all that stuff. So I got her American Ninja Warrior. Or, or, or actually, got this for both of them. But I think my daughter will will like it more. Then I got a geek magazine. They weren't really asking for a magazine or anything, but my dad, my dad didn't want a geek, like gamer type one, like geeky type stuff. So I, so, so, so I got her one. It was at Walmart, surprisingly. So I got her this one. It has collectibles, movies, TV, 
and more. It even says up here it's a free issue. So I got this at Walmart a few if she was back in 2018. But she was only she was not 10. She was like Hey mom. How old was my daughter in 2019 if she's 10 now? Seven. So, so she would have really not had really in, more interested interested in, in this. So, but now she is since she's ten. So I got her this. But I think she'll have, she'll be happy to actually have that. Her her brother doesn't really. Do, I, I I don't think will will we'll really want that as much. Um, or, or like at all. So. I did get her that one. He didn't ask for a magazine. Neither did neither did she. But I think he. I mean, she won't enjoy that. And she was seven when I got that, so now I think it's inappropriate to actually, to actually give it to her. <clears throat> then I got the Darling Book for Girls. I also have Dar the Daring Book for Boys book. So I only have the girl one here. I, I already gave the one for my, the, um, this, this one is for my daughter. Uh, my, uh, her brother, who's nine, has his. So I wanted to get her one because she probably wants... She always wants to steal her brothers, but I've seen the girl one everywhere, so I finally got it for her. And, and then, then I got this one. This one is the Brent Bears Too Much Junk Food book. Now, if you know, you know. They love Brent Bears, but this one is is really, really, really cool. It talks about junk food. I love Mercy Bears for their um for their nice educational books that, that they that they put out and they always have like a purpose or reasoning to them. So this one is nice to kind of like look up my, my kids love chips, they love candy, they love sweets, they love chocolate, they love wafers. They love anything that that's not healthy for you, they love. They, they also love strawberries and grapes and all that. So I got this for my ten year old girl. You know and, and it'll just kind of like like uh, introduced to her that those stuff is that stuff's bad for her. I, I mean, not bad for her, but stuff that I don't want, I don't want want her to have all the time. So, I think she'll really like like this, and it might put some realism in her life that um, that no, not all the time. You, sh I mean, it's okay to have this once in a while, but not all all the time, because like she likes like cheese puffs and salami and all that. Like she likes all that and like crackers and all that she likes so i think she'll like this and to read like a cool classic they love red breast red if you guys watch some of my order book order vi videos you guys will see that i say in, in a lot of those that my kids that i like to give breast beer books to my kids because they teach them an important life lesson and i still do I like to give them to my kids and you guys will, will, will see that in, in, in a little while and excuse me so no, 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 next one I got is this. This is the Treasury of Fairy Tales book. This one is for my nine-year-old and my ten-year-old's also getting getting one as well. Actually, no. Yeah, my ten-year-old is getting this one right here. My nine-year-old's getting the, getting this one. They have the exact same fa fa fairy tales in them, but they both wanted one, so I both got them the exact same thing. There's nothing different. It has the exact same fairy tales in them in it, but I mainly got it for my daughter because she likes she likes her treasuries and her fairy tales. <clears throat> So I got my son one as well because he want he actually asked asked mom can can I have a fairy tale book just like my sister? So really does he ever like ask that because he mainly is not a treasury boy. He he does not like treasuries or fairy tales like my daughter does. But why not get her one? Then I got this. This is the Richard sure 65 Stories for Girls Story a Day book. Now this I was supposed to actually read a story out, out of here a day, but So, 
I got her this one. It just has different stories in it for 365 days. And I think she will like to read a story after a day. It has all different types of like girly stories that she can read. It has January to December. Every single day in here she can read. I think she'll love, 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 love this. And it has like, not like Disney Princess stories, but it has like, like other stories in here too as well. And they're marked with the dates so that she knows what day to read each of the stories on. So I think she'll really like this. And her brother has one that's similar, but with like boyish character, like boyish stuff. So I got her one. Then I got the Fascinating Fact Book. Well, Kids Fun Field Search and Find Fascinating Fact Book. Now, if you don't know, which I'm pretty sure you guys might, I'm not totally sure though, this is the Kids Fun Field Search and Find Fascinating Fact Book. This has explore strange but true mysteries, famous people, and places, sports, and how things work. Discover the mysteries of Stonehenge and great statues of Eastern Island and the Loch Ness Monster. Learn about Neil Armstrong, such a word, and something. Visit the Grand Canyon with the pyramids. Get the facts of basketball, soccer, and the martial arts. Find out how to how hot air balloons, lasers, and submarines work. So, got this. This book I think is really, 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 really cool. Basically, what what this book is is it's not meant to be written in or anything like like that. Basically, it has different things that you search for. What I used to do with this book is I used to, or no, I didn't use to. My ten year old girl used to. What she would do is she would take a pen and she would mark off all if she found it with a pen. And I actually took it this book away from her just because I didn't want her to actually I don't know like. Like, not find it. I mean, not... I, I mean, I want her to actually find it. Like, find the, uh, the, uh, uh, items. But... I now think she'll be happy to te uh, have this one back. And have it. And search for the things with the pen and all that. And I'm pretty sure she'll want to actually take this one in the car and use it. Um, and maybe do it with her brother. Uh, to start to find some things with her brother. Um... So when we're on a car trip or something like that, or on like the week on the weekend, she might want to, to just look look through this book, have fun. Um, so yes, it was her. It, no, it it was hers. It, it, it used to be hers when she was like six. Then her brother had it, and now she's going to have it back. So got that. And yes, this this was passed down through all my kids. So yeah. This book we have is the E. T. book. My son is obsessed with E.T., so I got him the E.T. storybook. Uh, I think he will really enjoy this. My daughter has seen E.T., but she isn't interested in it like my son is, so... Yeah. Then, my son is also getting this. This is Practice Hall Science Explorer book for my nine-year-old son. He likes science and stuff like that, but, I mean... He likes science on some circumstances, not every single. I mean, he he's not like a science fan like my nine. I mean, my ten year old girl is, but my but he does like it. So I also got him this one. He likes ocean, but he also likes learning about space sometimes too. Next is the Curious George Trish, uh, Trishy book. This book, they're both going to be getting one. This one is for my nine-year-old, I mean ten-year-old, and then this one is for my nine-year-old. They're both getting one, and they just have tons of stories on them. We get eight stories in here, and mainly because my son and daughter, I mean my daughter loves her treasuries, and they love Kira George. So, my son is, is also getting one of these treasuries by Kira George as well. Because he wanted one. Then, one of the, one of the stories that my eight-year-old boy used to love, I mean, nine-year-old boy used to love to read, and my 24-year-old now, she's getting obsessed with it, too. It is Tiki Tiki Tumba. I used to read this book, too, and loved it. So I'm going to give this one to my 10-year-old and see how she, Daisy May, Daisy May, Daisy May, and see how she likes it. It's a really, it's actually a really, 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 really good book. Hey, no, uh No, oh, get away. Uh -uh. 
Then the next couple ones I have. Is this. This is the cool stuff how how it works book. My daughter loves anything with like the uh lenticular type thing. And so and so that and they actually have well they're actually going to be getting one of the uh the uh DK how things work or whatever. Uh no I, not how things work. Like something that like inventions that change the world I think. Daisy May. So I'm getting this book for my ten year old girl. And she's really into the into the uh the uh like inventions and science and stuff like that. Like see? They love stuff like this. Not so much my son, but my ten year old daughter, heck yeah. So got her that one. She loves Tangled, so I'm getting her a Tangled book for only 95 cents. She loves, she's also getting a, a Milana one as well. Her two favorite favorite purses, Milana and Tangled. I got the Big Book of Beaver for my eight-year-old boy. The Disney Ideas book by DK. This has more than more than 100 Disney crafts, activities, and games, which, which we can do over Christmas break or uh, fall break or whatever. And then we also got Where the Wild Things Are. My daughter loves this book. She read it in kindergarten and fell in love, so I'm, so I'm, so I'm getting her it again because her, her brother, uh, her eight-year-old brother actually read it in pre-K and loved it. So, and she read it in fifth, and I, I mean, in kindergarten and, and loved it. My, my, my 10-year-old, my 10-year-old originally read it in kindergarten and my eight-year-old, I mean, nine-year-old read it in pre-K. So, yeah. And then, and then my 10-year-old is getting the Seahawks uh, book. The Seahawks book by, uh, by, uh, by, So thank you so much for watching. My name is Alex. Subscribe here. See you next time. Bye.